They are at the top of the food chain in our oceans. Once feared, misunderstood, and a mystery, now there's intrigue and excitement for what's happening off our coast. And I've really seen a big change and a recovery of the shark populations in our area. Tony Grogan has researched sharks for 20 years locally. Weeks ago, a local diver captured a juvenile great white off Jupiter. It caught the eye of Grogan and added more data to a growing narrative that Dr. Brian Franks with Jacksonville University has seen more clearly than anyone. I think in some ways, these white sharks have always been here. Um, we just now know more about them by, by being able to track their movements. He works with OSEARCH and has been tracking the movements of great whites for the last six years. His data from their expeditions has been invaluable and Sunshine State waters seem to be flourishing. This has traditionally been an overwintering area for them. Through, through our data as well as other researchers, we can kind of show that, that they do kind of behave a bit like snowbirds. OSEARCH finds more in northern latitudes like New England and Canada in the late summer and early fall. As the water cools there, they head south for six months, all the way to the Carolinas, around the peninsula of Florida and into the Gulf of Mexico until late spring. It's a cyclical pattern that happens every year. One thing we have found is that these animals do seem to show fidelity, meaning they do return, if not to the exact same area, sometimes it is the exact same area, but they definitely seem to show preferences. In fact, OSEARCH has tracked great whites returning to the same spot within a half mile. And each one is unique. Take, for instance, Hilton, seen here. He was the first one they tracked bypassing New England, going right to Canada. Now 30 great whites have been tracked going back there. And our local boy, Ironbound, a 12-foot, 1,200-pound male seen here, pinged last week off the coast of Boca Raton. What their population size is, I can't say. I don't think we know that yet. What we do know from Dr. Franks and OSEARCH, we are seeing more of them. They have approximately 80 great whites tagged in the western North Atlantic. 20 projects are underway with 60 researchers honing in on everything from migration and ultrasounds to skin samples and blood samples. The idea, maximize the amount of info from every single animal to better understand their growth, behavior, and migration. Not just where they're going, but why. And I think what, what we are starting to see is maybe what the oceans look like you know, 100 years ago, 150 years ago. And I think that's a good thing because a healthy shark population um, reflects a healthier ocean.